Welcome to another fascinating video. This video is the reasons why your girlfriend doesn't bring you around her friends and family. Okay? RFM? Quite possibly. You see, now this is a woman that she's talking about relationships. She's a relationship woman. Okay? She's trying to push for a relationship. Okay? She's interested in you and all this and you meet her and she talks a lot about the next step forward, okay? Um, the future, okay? Now, this is uh, three to six months, six months in, six months and beyond. Let's go there. So, yeah, so you get to know her a little bit. You kind of know each other. However, she talks about this connection and, and being together and all this projection of, of future projections, but yet you don't see her family. You never get to meet her friends or family. So you kind of, you don't know that part of her life. So over here, she's doing something different, all right? Now, that mystery part, okay, that's fine and good. However, she knows your friends, your family, and but yet her side, you really don't get, you know, you don't know what's going on, but you don't ask because you figure, oh, she, in due time, I'll, I'll, I'll get all that information and whatever, 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 because you're into her, so you really don't care, right? Could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. Now... The problem with that is you need to look out for these cues because this is a red flag. If a woman doesn't let you know in, into her world, there's a reason, okay? And you got to think to yourself, you know, you don't, you, that part of her is personal. Her family, where she grew up, you know, you may heard of her siblings, you may talk about her family, but you never meet them, okay? A lot of times a woman will cloak it up and talk about the family, and what this one did, and this was so funny, and that one, and you feel like you know them. So you really don't challenge it. Not a good thing, right? If you're going to go forward in life and build on something, you need to know all the facts. You need to also do some check, some checking yourself. She's got her list right here. You need to get some checking going on too with her, okay? Don't forget, if you're going to get together with someone like this, long-term LTR, then, you know, you need to know the same. You need to have some leverage and know what the hell you're getting into. If a fucking family's crazy and shit, you want to know about that before you do something with her, you know, and take it further and get further invested. So, what are the signs? There's six signs I want to give you guys from six to one, one being, of course, the strongest, right? So, number six, you look for these signs. You see these cues here, guys? Start taking notice and start to realize, you know what? I got to really find out what's going on with this chick and find out what I've got on my hands, right? Okay, so number six would be low interest, right? Everything's starting out great. Now, a woman will start behaving strangely, and you'll start, she'll start to notice things about you that, for example, that she's not liking, okay? So rather than put you in front of her family or bring you toward her family, she goes, wait a minute, he may not be ready for my family, or I'm not ready for him to meet my family. Got it? She knows her family. You don't know our family, okay? When a, when a woman is in love and she's serious and she, she wants to know everything about you, she wants you to know everything about her, she brings you to her family, she shows she wants to bond and connect because don't forget, her family's your future. You marry her, you marry the family. Women know that. You should too. So number six, if she's losing interest right away, something is wrong. She may be seeing weakness on your part. She's losing momentum. Okay, she's seeing the spark starting to fizzle out a little bit. Okay, whatever reason, maybe you're you're not where you need to be in life. Okay, maybe you're not trying. Who knows? But look out for her cues. If she's not bringing you into her family, there's something that she's seeing over here with you that she's not checking for. Right now, does she like you? Yeah, she still has. She's still into you to a small. It's, she's into you, but it's fading. Women lose attraction over time. Okay, for the most part, it takes a little bit slower to lose attraction. Also, to gain it, unless they, unless you're unless you're at a high level where she sees you on an attraction scale of eight to nine, then it can very quickly, right? But there's a natural progression of things, and she's starting to see the little weird nuances that you're doing, and, and you're not where she needs you to be on either financially, emotionally, physically, or all around. Okay. So she'll pull back a little bit, okay? Next one would be, number five would be uncertainty. 
Now she's uncertain because now you're showing up weak. Now you're also doing things more wrong than right. Okay. Now she's seeing more mistakes and errors. She's projecting to the future. Like, okay, if you're going to be the leader, she needs you to be, you know, confident. If you're lacking confidence, maybe you're trying to find a job, not working right now, but you, you got no plan for a job. That's the problem. You know what you want to do? Uh, I, I, I'm going to do something though. You're going, it's going to be off the hook, man. You're going to see. You're going to see. She may say, listen, I need a man with a plan. We want a man with a plan. You, but you have to be showing up to her weak because in her eyes, you don't have yourself together. Okay? You can't carry a relationship in her eyes. Is it true? Who knows? But it's up to you to, to convey that message to her. She's not feeling your confidence. That's not her fault. That's your fault. You have to project confidence at all times. You have to be that guy, period. Whether you have money or not, doesn't matter. You don't need money to be confident. Okay? So that's not an excuse, right? So she's seeing this. She's going, she's not going to bring you around her family, period. Number four is going to be, also, you could be a rebound. May not be that serious. She could say, yeah, my family this, my family that. I mean, she meets your family or whatever, your friends. But you never see her family. She talks about them all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like you know their family, but you don't know our family. You never met them. Why? Because you're a rebound. She knows the limits of where this is going to go. So what does she do? She she gives out the, you know, all the girlfriend experience, the GFE. You're getting the girlfriend experience from her. But she never said, you never asked her out or you never actually uh, solidified the relationship. Okay. That's going to go forward. So in her mind, yeah, we're together, we're hanging out. You know, he, I like him, you know, but she doesn't know yet. I don't know yet where it's going, but you never had that discussion, okay? So when things are unclear like this, you know, there's clarity, you don't have clarity, she's going to assume, okay, we're together, I'm winning, I guess, you know, whatever. But if it's not clear, you can't blame her, right? So make sure you're clear in your intent. Alpha males are clear in their intent, okay? Boom, this is what it is. They lay the ground rules down, this is what it is, boom, boom, boom feeling you, this, that, and the third thing, I see this, this, and that, what are you looking for, blah, 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 okay, boom, no big deal, she'll understand and go, okay, with this guy, he wants this to happen, he's looking toward this way, and then she can respond accordingly, you don't do that, she's going along with the ride, but you overproject the relationship, okay, you overproject her, her affection, and as Okay, the hugs, kisses, and all that, and the babe re references and lovey or honey or whatever. And it's okay, this is my girl. This is my girl right here. And she never, you never really established that with her. Yeah, she's there with you. Yeah, sure. But you didn't establish it. So it, 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 you're actually, you could be a rebound. You don't know. She may need you as a distraction from what's going on over here in her life that she never took care of. Right? Which leads to number three. Number three, she could be holding out for an ex. It's not over that relationship that she had before. Uh, you're a nice distraction. You, you know, you're okay. You know, she's trying to move on from here, but never solve the issues here. Never had that closure. It's closed when you're not together. That's it. It's over. But not for her. Not for her, because he got her. He doesn't. He he's left his impression on her. Okay, and she's trying to change that with you right now. Okay, not really happening. She's holding out. It's going okay. She's giving it a try. However, got that candle lit hope in the window, hoping for a miracle one day, maybe he'll come by. It's a fleeting hope. She knows it, but she's still holding out. She's not pushing the relationship too far, too fast. So she's holding out. Maybe something will happen. Now, women do that, and it's a shitty way to be for a woman to do that or anybody, because that means she's not, she didn't resolve issues over here, and she's carrying a bullshit in this relationship here with you, she's comparing and whatever. I don't mind comparing and all that shit, but if you didn't resolve, your, you didn't get closure here, you're going to carry that shit with you no matter where you go, who you're with. And why would you be, that's a shitty thing to do. If you need to be by yourself, be by your fucking self, as a female or a male, but for a female, she needs to find herself through talking to her friends and maybe therapy and getting over people. She's not doing that in this case. So, that you got on your hands. You don't want that shit. So be, this is, these are all red flags, guys. These are all red flags. So if you're getting this, this is red flag materials, RFM shit right here, 
Okay, this RFM shit, just no, take note. But, oh, just, okay, but take note of the little bullshit. What she's saying and what she's doing, two different things. They're not consistent. Okay, you know, she's got leverage because she got your family and this and she knows all this. But you don't have the same thing on this side. It's more of a wall that's built up here that you can't really get through. That's a process. She's not letting you in her life because you're not part of her life. That's why you're not in that part of her life. You're not considered family. With her, with her over here, she can say to family, hey, look who's here, oh, hey. She'd do a little, eh, whatever, and she's accepted, All right? Which goes to number two, family. Maybe she knows how family won't accept you, okay? You don't fit the frame of what the family projects for her, for their daughter, their little princess. You understand? Is it bullshit? Absolutely. But she knows she may like you a lot. She may say, you know, this is my guy. I'm going to make this happen. Da, 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 da. However, I can't bring him home to my family. Because then you show up. Yo, how's everybody doing? All right. And they may be astute. You know, who knows? But you go in there. They're gonna, she says, oh, man, you, maybe you work with your hands. Nothing wrong with that. It's, they're going to judge. She's going to judge you. They're going to judge her, her by you on your career. You know, what kind of man is this guy? What, kind of, what do you do for a living? What's this? Maybe he's good with his hands. Maybe he's in between jobs right now. Maybe you, maybe you're, you know, your career ain't at your, you may have a career that's a little, 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 you know, you do a little work, you know, you look for some work in out there. Okay. And that's nobody's business, but look at, you know, she knows this style. She knows the dark side. She can't bring it there. She can't expose that because they're going to judge her. They're going to judge you. She knows that. That'd be a problem. So she would avoid that also. Or, you know, and that's that's to protect social norms, keeping to keeping the social uh, appearances up. So she won't bring you around the family for that because they're going to judge her socially, on the social scale, peers, family, friends, and all that. What's this guy? What are you bringing this guy around for? What do you guys have in common? This, that, third, boop, boop, boop. You understand? So she won't do it. Okay? It's more fighting, more painful than anything. Got it? So, the next one would be, and the number one is going to be, you're just a side dude. That's why. That's why you don't know the family. You're just a side dude. Okay? And that's the best place to be in if you want to. That's the best position to be in. But it's the worst position to be in if you don't know it. <laughs> if you don't know you're the side dude, that's a problem. Because why? Because now you're getting your emotions involved. She's coming up, getting knocked down, and you're knocking, well, you got whatever, whatever. But you, you don't know... That you're just a side dude. You think this is building up to something. Okay? Why? Because, again, you didn't come clear. You have to be clear in your intent. Yo, she's coming through at midnight or whatever, or whatever, 2 in the morning, it's broad daylight, whatever it is. She's coming through. And you're not really making any plans, but, you know, you're, again, you're feeling like you're, this is really building up to something. All the hugs and the cuddle time and all the, the little, you know, girly stuff and it's up that little the little needs of connection and touching and all that you take that in too right okay fine but then when she leaves you let it go with her you, you drop it instead you carry it with you you all oh, you have a good day oh she's all right you know and you're getting yourself emotionally involved she's not she's chilling like no nah, he's my thursday guy let me see you know and you get yourself attached so of course, at that point, you're not going to meet the family. You're not going to meet her friends because it's not, it's not the situation. You're just a side dude. You're a side piece. She's a side piece. Okay? But you got to make sure without clarity, okay, you will suffer. Okay? Alpha males, get clarity. Get clarity. Be clear in your intent. Know what you get yourself into. All right? Address issues and have a plan. Period. Have a, if your plan is having a good time, just having a good time right now, dating, having a good time. That's what it is. If your plan's looking for marriage and moving on and, and, and getting serious and, and having kids and procreating, okay, and building your empire and you're building your legacy, that's what it is. Okay? Getting married is not beta. It's not. Okay? If you want to do that, it's not. Why? Because part of being alpha male also is building your legacy, building an empire. Okay? Passing down tradition. That's not, ain't nothing beta about that shit. Not at all. I don't care what nobody says. That ain't that shit ain't beta right there. But it, all that shit's beta if you're not clearing your intent. 
So the bottom line is you set the narrative. Boom, this is what it is. Talking to her, it's been some time now, been 12 weeks, 14 weeks, whatever. You're talking, things are going well. You like how things are going and you start talking. Boom, get your plan. Find out what you want first. Bring it to her. If, she, if she's good with it, that's what it is. If she's not, that's what it is. You make a decision and you go from there. All right, so like, subscribe, comment below in the bottom. You have to go way down to the bottom of the comment. I see the comments coming in. I see the subscribers coming in. You guys are welcome. Once you're here, your family, once your family, I got you. XL, and I'm out.